Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another session. Today we are going to talk about the counters again. And uh, we discussed it last time counter up. Now we are going to use the counter up and down instructions here. So, as I told you, in the case you want to name a counter, you can name it like I'm going to name it from C1. And it's all depend like on CPU how many counters you are available actually there. So, now uh, for the countdown, and there's a two like here we have a countdown and we ha we have a count up like in the case you want to increment your count then you have to you know kind of use that count up instruction uh, sorry count up link from here so if in the case you want to count down then definitely cd countdown is there and then we have set pv and reset Th these functions are exactly same as we discussed for counter up instruction last time and then we have an output in uh, CV, CVBCD. This is exactly the same what we discussed last time in last class. So here uh, we are gonna use that. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take two bit instructions like a uh, two, for example. Uh, hold on a minute. It's taking a bit of time. Anyhow, it's fine. We can try doing that here. So I I will make it like i0.0 .0 here so I think I didn't put it in wrong or right format so it's that's the reason it was not fine now it's a i0.1 here and then i0.2 here and then C number sign then value in the case you want put in there you can put and then i0.3 over there fine we are set to actually run that program and with Q 0, 0.0 at output you can say here Q 0, 0.0 okay fine we are done with it and next thing is very important here that's actually uh, to run that program so what we have to do we have to go here to the simulator so once we will have simulator open then we can just go ahead and program actually we're gonna download it here so it's fine we are set so now I'm gonna download and once it's downloaded already uh, then there's a class sign then we can run it from here so now see there is very important thing to observe when I press I0.0 .0, you can see here the counter is increment, uh, incremented from, uh, from 0 to 1 so counting up now if in the case you want to have a countdown so if in the case I0.1 is pressed you can see value is decremented before it was 3 now it's 2 and then 1 and then if I press it again it becomes 0 so same is the case here once I will press here I0.0 .0, it will increment you can see here the values is values are incrementing here now if in the case you want to decrement it then you can use that you can see the values are decrementing there and uh, there's a set instructions is purpose is same as we discussed last class whatever we will have in PV it will be transferred there so it will instead of counting from zero it will start counting of whatever the value you have given to the PV in this case is we have given 10 so instead of zero it will start counting from 10 now next number will be 11 you can see here so this is really important and stand here uh, this was the discussion for today's class like the practical part of it next thing is very important for you now you have to start working by yourself to making the assignment sections like I'm gonna give you small projects you have to work on that and on next session I'm gonna like uh, tell you exactly which is the better solution so your assignment for today's class is actually you have to program parking lot automation project and here we have actually one parking lot where we have a space of four vehicles only and we have actually two sensors there one senses is at the incoming traffic you can say here 
so when we will have a vehicle getting into that parking lot there is a sensor that can give you a signal on that and then we have a sensor here at the output side of it so there is another very here you can see that once the vehicle passes out of the parking lot then this sensor is gonna give us an output based on that so we do have two sensors and you can name it in the case uh, I0.0 and I0.1 here and we have two outputs here also so the scenario here is like if in the case four vehicles are already in there should be a lamp here that should be glowing that should be in red like that will indicate the you know like drivers coming in that there's no mm, parking space inside that parking lot so you have to actually turn on that particular lamp red when the vehicle is in there okay so like we 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 have four vehicles we don't have any space so it this lamp should be red and if in the case we do have a space and vehicles are less than four then there is a space of course if it is less than four to have another vehicle inside then this should be green so uh, and uh, you should have to actually program that particular project and uh, this is one of the example uh, you can say practical application that you have to program it by yourself and you have to make a video and on explaining it what you did and if in the case I like someone's video I will definitely post here on YouTube channel and if nobody is able to do that project and then in next class uh, for sure I will post the actually solution of that particular project hope you like today's video like this we will have a lot of examples coming on in next sessions we will first talk about the scenarios I will give you assignment if you can do it fine if you can't do it I'm here I'm here I will do it in next session so if you like today's video or if you're liking series of IT and Automation Academy uh, to reach to everybody I need your support actually you have if in the case you will like this video it will help us for others actually when they will browse they will be able to find this information try to share like and comment on the down section here on the comment section if you have any question related to that particular assignment you want to clear or in anything in general you want to know don't hesitate to write the questions on this particular video and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel because it's just started a lot to come on there thank you very much assalamu alaikum